Even all remarks here, back here on another video, back again with another Oculus Quest video. What is? Uh, what is that? Ah, there we go, perfect. Wouldn't it be good if you get rid of dead pixels that easy? Well, we all know every device that comes out, you know, there's a certain element of sort of faulty units. I mean, things go wrong, they're mass produced. You know, chances are a very small percentage, hopefully, uh, have a defect. And it seems looking on the Reddit at the moment, there's a fair few posts about the Oculus Quest having dead pixels. Now, I have one. Uh, does it bother me enough to send it back? Well, yes, I've contacted Oculus to kind of have a look at it and sort of see if we can get a replacement unit, but that's just me with my OCD wanting it to be perfect because I want the full experience. I want the, you know, everything to be cool. And at the moment I'm talking to Oculus to hopefully get the, the unit replaced and I'll kind of report back on kind of what that experience is, but we shouldn't stand for it. We shouldn't, we should want a perfect product and I'm sure I'm very sure Oculus want us to all have a great experience with their headsets and it's not necessarily their, their fault that we've got dead pixels because as I say, it just kind of happens. It happens on TVs, it happens on PCs, you know, it's just one of those sort of things. So how do you know if you do have a dead pixel on your device? Well, you probably should know, it should be pretty obvious and if it's not obvious, then maybe it's not an issue and you don't need to worry about it. But you can check, you can just make sure that it is a dead pixel or maybe even a stuck pixel because you get that as well, where they're stuck white, green, red, whatever. But if that is an issue for you, you can use this web VR experience that a Jeremy Dietz has created. So Jeremy sent me a message on Facebook earlier saying, look, I know people are having an issue. I've created this web VR thing that you can use and it's super easy to use and we're going to check it out. So my dead pixel is in the right eye down the bottom left and if you didn't know the Oculus Quest has two screens so it'll only be in one eye or the other I mean you may have one in each eye but it depends on sort of how bad your screens are but uh, I've just got the one down the bottom left and what we need to do to test it is if we go to browser down the bottom here we can go and we can enter in a web address. So I've set up a shortcut to the page that Jeremy has created. So if we go to deadpixel.remarkus.com, that'll take us straight to the web VR uh, experience he's created. So here it is, we can kind of pan around. And what this does is it cycles through uh, different colors to try and help you identify whether you've got any sort of dead pixels. Now, you can use it just by watching the screen now. That's perfectly fine, so you can kind of look around if you want to kind of see if you can kind of see a pixel that just kind of stands out you you it'll be pretty obvious usually but there is a button down this right hand corner that you can click that puts it into web vr mode so if you didn't know websites can become vr experiences and now here we go it's now just going to flash through different colors for you to kind of look around now with a dead pixel you don't need to be looking around because the screen is always you know the same you're not looking at a different parts of the screen so you just literally need to look around with your eyes to try and find it and when you see it swap between your eyes so close your right eye have a look is it still there close your left eye have a look is it still there then you'll know which screen it's been affected in so which screen it appears in so uh, when you're contacting support or anything you can say it's in your right eye down the bottom left and you can try and take a photo of it now if it's a single pixel it'll be Nine impossible to kind of take a photo of. You may be lucky, you may get some good contrast. Uh, maybe even using this tool, it might make it easier for you to take a photo. But I can't see my dead pixel in the white because I think mine is actually stuck on white. So here I can just about make it out down the bottom left hand side. And if I close my left eye, I can still see it. And on the black screen here, I can definitely see it a lot clearer. So it's not super obvious. It's not like it glares out at me and it's, you know, I see it on everything I do. Like red here, I can't see it, it's not there. But you know, it's good to know that this tool helps. Now it's a bit garish, so if you press your home button on your controller, you can click resume again and it takes it back to kind of just the web page. So let me know if this helps you. Let me know if you've got any questions about how to use this and I'll try and do my best to kind of guide you. But if you go to deadpixel.com remarkers.com it'll take you to this tool and thank you jeremy for uh, creating this uh appreciate that mate and it's uh hopefully a useful tool for people i'd be really interested to sort of see how many people are affected by these dead pixels is it a big issue it tends to be with things like faults is that you'll hear about them more often 
because obviously people complain about bad things. They don't sort of come out and say good things. No one's going to come out and say, oh, I've got no dead pixels just for no reason. They're going to come out and say they've got a bad, bad pixel or whatever, aren't they? Uh, so kind of take it with a pinch of salt. I think the, the amount of people with bad pixels is pretty small. And as I say, even with mine, I think for 99% of what I do, I probably won't notice it. Once you're playing a game and playing, I can't see mine. But if you've got one in the middle of your screen or two or three, because you can have bunches of them, uh, then it's maybe an issue. And I do recommend you contact Oculus Support. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down below. Just get in touch with them, ask them some questions, say that you've got the dead pixel that, and what sort of eye it's in and whereabouts it is in the screen. They will ask for a screenshot. So you're going to have to use your phone or a camera or something to try and take a shot of that dead pixel. But if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.